Hello YouTube, so what we're doing today is an, a complete unboxing or in this case a re-unboxing of the DJI, FP, um, DJI FPV HD goggles. This would be at 720p, 720, in excess of 720 lines of progressive scan. So this is the box serial number this would be the contents on the inside the top is completely blank the protect the anti tamper tamper tape i've peeled that off on this side you have the website on this side you have the dj logo on the bottom it's just a plain bottom box so I had previously done some done an earlier unboxing where I had pulled out this component. Well, it's just a power cable and USB um, Type C cable, genuine. You'll notice blue inside, and you have the five additional pins, and you would have the protective. You would have the strap. Let me demonstrate what the strap looks like. I have not pulled this apart just yet. I'm trying to do this on camera to show you so you can have an idea what this looks like. So this is the pouch. Pouch is a very nice feeling pouch on the inside. For you to use the pouch, you would <coughs> yeah, so for you to use a supplied pouch, you would have to detach or keep the external um, external antennas detached that's these guys now talking about let me put this down put this aside one moment talking about the antennas that would be these units which i am unboxing here for the very first time so these are 5.8 gigahertz left hand polarized 5.8 gigahertz 5.8 gigahertz all right so this uses a, a very interesting quad diversity i don't know if I, if I should someone somewhere is going to tell me i should be saying dual diversity but so the two antennas up the top transmit and receive the bottom ones receive only so put these down a sec let's talk about the strap i know you don't you're not here to see the strap but the strap is literally a strap with the official logo on it let me show you how that's set up in short order so let's get to the box and the contents of the box that's what you guys would be in here interested in looking at anyway so all the items i had showed you previously would have come came from the box originally just that i was eager to do this today i mean to look at the contents before and just ensure everything arrived intact which it did so this is the god okay let's talk about this little box this little box here all right opening this feels premium just like opening an apple product so for those of you yeah so for those of you who've unboxed an iphone an ipad macbook pro or any similar device would fully understand what i mean so this has safety information a quick start guide and stuff which being in a hobby you're not going to ever really go through this stuff so throw that put that back in the box throw it at the side yeah that went in the bin i mean no not went in the bin but that's just stuff to one side inside is just an empty box with some silica gel don't eat and so this is the unit itself 
the big boy the thing we are really all here to to see so earlier on right so this IPD adjustable for those of you who have smaller heads for people like, like me with big heads you can adjust or now I'll forewarn you about these particular pads doing some testing here this is definitely prone to light, light leakage so around the edges here is going to be an issue so you can do two things you can either change the padding altogether or find something um, you can either change this to the official $15 um, VGI foam pad upgrade which would replace this all together with a nice more comfortable fitting unit you could do a 3d printed shim or you can find some sponge stuffing or something to fill out that section which makes it more comfortable to you for you all right so talking about the particular unit in question you will find that you have vent holes up top for the fan so fans up top and i guess you you have vent holes down, be down below so i don't know which way it sucks in and exhales out i'm assuming that it sucks in through the top and then exhales down below there i'm guessing that these holes are really this so it exhales down the bottom that's my understanding this is where you'd connect your micro sd card slot i believe it does up to 120 gigabytes i'm not don't quote me on that i'll post that post the exact figure in short order usb type c port which we'll be using shortly this is your channel selection button so you have channels one one through eight and there is an actual chart which i should have posted up here somewhere sorry this is it i was so obsessed with with this unit so right here is where um yeah so right here so in this band here 25 megabits um, per second or, and 25 megabits per second which is which is what this would come stock with is what you would use out of the box you're going through one one through eight bands you notice channel sorry one through eight channels channel eight is right here while channel seven is all the way out here why that's the case i don't know however when you do the firmware update and you get the 50 megabit um, 50 megabit band you can now it now ties two channels together to get that 50 megabit so you can imagine these two tied up these two tied up here these two tied up here and it just does something so on 50 megabit three pilots can fly simultaneously um 25 megabit per second um 25 megabits rather eight pilots can fly simultaneously now i must forewarn you that this will collide with those folks in race band for instance so those so this will collide with those folks in analog so for instance in this mode you can see where you're going to collide with this um person operating operating there but enough of the technical that is here let's get back to the fun of looking at this particular unit well this is exactly what i'm figuring you want to see so let's talk about the antennas left hand polar polarized screw that on here like so screw that on here like so screw that on too oops no, I, oh, I was holding it wrong. Yeah, so this is what it looks like to me. This looks like some sort of pre um, predator 
Halloween thing, but at the same time, it looks kind of interesting. Um, at the same time, uh, intimidating to look at with the antennas on, but hey, it's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to describe this side. So this side now is where you would have this. You would think that this port is for your headphones. No, this is for analog in. So analog in on that this section, and this is where you'd connect your power. All right, so I've connected the power here for the very first time myself. Now, the instruction online, you see where it's recommended to do 4S at 1600 milliamp hours for three and a half hours worth of constant runtime. I'm gonna use this for the purpose of this test here. So I'm gonna plug, so we got this. Plug this in for the very first time. Don't burn up. And you'll hear the fan running. Yes, so fan runs. Let's see. I should have done some. Okay, so something is. That's it. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, so unfortunately I cannot show you what is on the screen based on all sorts of weird stuff with the optics. I'm using my phone camera. Let me switch off this lighting here. See if it's any better. Crap, I have to stop recording. Alright, so that's a DJI logo. But I'm gonna take some sorry, let me all right, well, this, this is gonna be botched up. All right, let's get straight to the firmware update. All right, so what I have in the background here is, let's get this back in focus. Yeah, so what we have here is the DJ website where you're gonna then go to typically support and then you then go to download center in which you would then download this application. So don't get the DJI Assistant 2. Assistant 2, which would have been for the old, this one is the older obsolete um, thing here, which I made that mistake a moment ago. This down below is what you're supposed to get. So you have two options available to you, Windows, I mean, sorry, Windows or Mac. So you choose your appropriate option in that case. I am currently running Windows, so I will do that. So I've downloaded and installed it. I've already signed in. So I will just simply get this legitimate USB Type-C cable and plug that into my USB port. And see what happens. I have no idea exactly what's to happen. I'm assuming I'd be have a bunch of firmware updates to take place. Plug that in, give that a few seconds to do its thing. Okay, great. So we're gonna go through this together because it's the very first time I'm actually doing this myself. Waiting for Windows to finish setting up some stuff. Giving it a few seconds. Oh, I had a VPN clamp running in the background earlier. That's not needed. All right, so let's go. Yeah, go away. Start activation, yes, why not? Why not? Why not? Yes, activating, activated successfully. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is important. The note about keeping your lenses away from direct sunlight, which is something that you guys need to need to observe. So you have to do this for the goggles. Uh, you have to do this for the air unit. 
and a remote controller if you do have it. Now the unfortunate reason for a join, yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this. Really? I don't have a... Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I really should have skipped this process, but I did. Hold on, let's go back. I actually, this is an actual eBay purchase. Yeah, here you go. Hmm. Yeah, let me not bore you with this detail. Let's get back to oh goodness. Um hmm. Thirty five, man. All right. All right, let's do this. that oh, I've just given away my soul to somebody hold on Tura. Oh. okay sir uh, okay I'll give you the opportunity to read through all of this So doing the firmer update. This it looks like it's going to take a while. Or not. So in enduring while this takes place. Uh, the straps themselves are self-explanatory. Hook them through the, you hook it through the, yeah, insert it through the loop, bend it around, and it clips. It's Velcro after all. This looks like it can handle some amount of perspiration. So with the perspiration that you get, yeah, and it's, you should wash out pretty Easy. I don't know how I don't know how this will fare being wet. This feels like plastic on this side, but I don't like the thought of wetting up the stitching. But alright, so the firmware update is about to be done. So I don't need to demonstrate how to do this. This is self then demonstrate how to put the harness in place. This is self-explanatory just by looking at it. Alright, so so the reason why this unboxing session is going to be very short is because I do not have the air unit or a Vista on me at the moment. The Vista had been ordered prior to the goggles. However, my freight forwarder was not able to actually find the Vista in the shipment as yet. I'm sure that by tomorrow it should be on hand 
I mean, they should be able to locate it and everything should be good to go while this is doing its little update. There, I'm going to find, yes, I have found this 128 gigabyte micro SD card, which I'll be using. I am one of those SanDisk fans. But Samsung also makes good products too. So this is a U3 class card, so I'll insert it and it should be good to go. Oh, and warning for those of you who might not be aware, the unit takes um, can takes typically between um, takes between t um, 2s to 4s. Do not in any way, shape, or form attempt to use this on a 5 or 6s um, battery unless they are drained to drained down to 4s voltage. All right, so I plugged the micro SD card in the slot, and you may have noticed it has popped up fine here in the windows. So that seems to be a good sign. I'm going to definitely want to format it, however, inside the unit itself, so that the unit has its own file, takes its own native file structure, whatever that is. If it's going to be XFAT, since it's a 128 gigabyte card in excess of 32 gigabytes thereabouts or if this is going to format it in okay what's this going on here all right let's see what this is doing i'm trying to find some other way to entertain you all in the interim so while that's taking place i have actually gone i've actually ordered some dell props i like the old school Dalpro um, bullnose category uh, bullnose units, which this is the fold series. You don't get it pre assembled like this, you get it in the individual components and you just simply put them together. So that's what I had actually done today while waiting for them to find the Vista, which never actually, they just never actually found it. So I will have to demonstrate the Vista another day and do a proper show you how to actually bind this unit to the Vista. But for those of you who may be wondering, this little red hole here where my thumb is pointing, this little red button where my thumb is pointing towards, that's the actual bind button. You most likely press and hold and then you would be able to enter the bind mode, same time, let's do it same time with the air unit and you'll be good. Of course, for the air unit and the Vista, you would pair the goggles and the air unit slash Vista at the same time first, and then afterwards you then pair the remote um, with that particular unit. So just here patiently waiting for it to update which looks like it's taking a while, but okay, great, this is done. Let's maximize this. Let's go back. Let me kill this VPN session here. I was getting on my nerves like a plague. Anyway, all right, so this is what is happening here. So this is the actual unit. You can play around with the device settings. Well, there doesn't seem to be settings here. The settings would be on the, in the goggles themselves, which you then have to go, go around and play with. Confirm, save it to local. Oh, that would be, but I don't have anything to export. Nothing else in regards to a firmware update for this device. So I can go back one step. And that would be it for the assistant. 
unit. Let us see. I'm gonna have to now adjust the camera, switch off the backlighting for you to be able to see inside the goggles themselves. So I'm gonna put, put this down, pause the recording, switch it over to that so that you can actually see what's happening here. Hold a moment. <laughs> 